The family of a fallen soldier from Eaton mourns his death. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. I'm Marcia Baumhardt. Gustavo Rios Ordonez was killed Monday in Afghanistan's Kandahar province. Megan O'Rourke tells us about the legacy he leaves. Gustavo Rios Ordonez wasn't born a U.S. citizen, but that didn't stop him from proudly donning an army uniform to defend the country he called home. These family photos show the 25-year-old in action during his first deployment to Afghanistan, a dangerous mission that on Monday turned deadly. Rios Ordonez was killed when an improvised explosive device detonated while he was on foot patrol. Rios's wife Tiffany didn't want to go on camera, but in a statement says, Gustavo was the most amazing man I have ever met. He was caring towards everyone. He loved myself and our two daughters more than anything in the entire world. The only reason why he joined the army was to make his daughters proud to help defend the country they were born in. He was very proud of his home country, Colombia, and proud of wanting to become an American citizen. Tiffany goes on to say that Rios Ordonez never complained about his time overseas, saying, quote, I am so proud of my husband, but I would prefer to have him home with me and our girls. They miss him so much, and they don't even know what happened. Funeral arrangements for Rios Ordonez have not yet been set. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.